we have a problem. What's the problem, G-Clef? Is it going to be another 3-0? I don't know if that's a problem. If that's a problem, we've had a problem for a long time in HGC <laughs> Korea. But actually, lately, we've found the solution. We've had a lot of non-3-0 games. Yes. Even a few upsets. That's miracle. That's what we have today. But against good luck, well, Gillyweed won't be too happy. That's true. Unfortunately, her sponsorship of this team is in trouble. And honestly, their time in HGC Korea may be in trouble as they are at mm -hmm. the bottom of the standings. And it's like if you don't have enough money in Wheel of Fortune, you can't buy a vowel. Just like for Gluck, they seemingly cannot buy a win. They've struggled a lot more in part two. I thought they were struggling in part one, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought that the, it wasn't possible for them to struggle more. But this part they really have and so I do want to see them turn it around obviously they were good enough to qualify for HGC but staying in HGC as one of the lower teams has been kind of a meme because it is very difficult to do yep and just in case if you guys fell for uh, Rapid's words Gillyweed does not sponsor the that's team. true I yeah. just, just in that. case there will be one I serious thought... guy in the chat I thought Gillyweed spent how could you sponsor Rapid... a team in Korea that's what Rapid said is that why Brightwing is being remade it's like oh my god it all makes sense then they draw their little Illuminati sign on the wall and they're like oh yeah okay well that guy believes it but you guys shouldn't believe our trolling so don't believe his lies let's get into it our possibly final Gotta add that caveat. Game of the night uh, continues, and it is going to be BOE. We just had TOD, and we're on BOE. On Hanzo, must ban map, along with that game, along with Genji Maya, Garros Diablo, Tyrio. So which one do you pick? Tyrande. Uh, Tyrande, I meant to say. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Let's just say that the must ban Tyrio. Yeah, Tyrio was also banned uh, last that, that is true. That yeah, is true. Got me there. Not sure if it's a must ban, but we got to take the Angels out sooner or later. So. Well, it's quite uneven. I like a rectangular figure. Maybe we'll have one more map at the bottom, so we have 10 map pool next season. Who knows? We have a lot of new maps coming, and I would <laughs> like to see Alterac actually really Fun. I've been enjoying it. Oh, it's that so, much so fun. Much. It, it's such but a it's, it's different way to play. Act, it's very offensive for me to be on the other side. Yeah, they. Time. how dare they assume your allegiance, G Clef? Oh, I should have the ability to switch teams if I'm on the wrong <laughs> no, side. No. It's always fun. It is super fun. So, can't wait for new maps, new reworks coming through, and the Toronto reworks super effective. First pick every game, or at least banned. So, we'll see if that continues here as we get into game number three Miracle. Gets. Have looked very strong. Yeah, so Miracle gets second ban. First yep. ban, Diablo can. Diablo first ban is never a bad thing, but when you have the first pick, you might be considering of grabbing one on your own. That is true. Concerns me a little. It seems like it's going to be Diablo and then uh, Genji and then probably Tyrande ban here from Gluck and then they followed up with a uh, Maya like ban. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the second ban, okay? Okay. Because. Oh, okay. Garage. Okay. Seems like they have not really adapted what the really big mistake was from the last game. They ended up going all the way down the same path, check, uh, taking out the tanks. Unless they first pick tank, that I will like a lot. They got to choose Varian, because it went all the way down, even banning Tyrio, because that was, that was the hero for Roxer. And Hanzo is open, so I would say Hans, grab Hanzo in this case, but you may be, you might not have your favorite tank. Miracle would like to play, like to grab onto Nubarak once again, but instead Tyrande opened this time. Okay, so Tyrande was open, but I do agree, limiting that tank pool might have been more effective. It felt like Varian was a big weak spot in game number one. Uh, you know, maybe some other issues, but certainly uh, Varian did not work out. So limiting that tank pool might have been pretty effective, but as someone's grabbing very strong heroes, and that's exactly what Miracle have done. Whereas Gluck just pick up their big tank line. Grabbing a blaze. Yeah, finally, Long because Miracle rock. opened them up. Because they wanted to grab onto Tyrande. Plus Leaming, Leaming super high. Leaming Hanzo. They just rise up to top tier. Even getting banned so many times on this map only. Mm -hmm. Not not only, but most of the times. Solid ban will be a support because they already have a Tyrande Deckard or well White Mane I think I is a better one. Oftentimes I do mention because of Leaming. Definitely. Uh, that ability to burst heal. Uh Okay, Malfurion. It feels like banning Malfurion is like so two weeks ago, G Clef. Or 
a month maybe, to go. Maybe three weeks. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe a month. That's, yeah. that's Back it. to Western Eastern Clash when Ice Block was removed. Right. Ralphie? A comfort pick for KCB. So maybe we're going down the comfort pick of support. Okay. I think they were concerned about the cleanse. Deckard, of course. Nope. White main, yes, but Mafuri, you know, e an easier one to have a cleanse with Nature's Cure with many. For sure. Okay, well, that is going to be the Thrall URL for Miracle, and so Gluck get a chance to close out their lineup here. Do they have something special in mind? I don't, I, I think they should just go straight up standard here. It seems like that's been what they've been doing so far, but what's the secret sauce here? Ah, I knew it! All right, coming through the High Lord here on the battlefield of eternity. The sadism, the sadism bamboo, I would like to call it. It's not the happyism, uh, it's uh, the sadism. And that's a spicy one. Might actually be spicy on their own team because they have some CC and lots of CC to crown. Their, and this time with silence, you can actually displace a hero. And have a seven sided land pretty easily. Good luck. They have a really good team comp going in. This would, I would say, a Gen G draft styling. From oh, yeah. Luck. Especially with the Alarak. Mm -hmm. And usually rich on that Alarak, but this time Overlord, really good with skill shot. Just not yesterday, but he has been pretty good. But okay. Miracle, they still have their Thrall. That's going to be the big problem. And they banned more than instead. They wanted to ban out Judy Jeropole, an ETC pick, which is not. The strongest, but with Irel, ATC comes out strong enough all the time. And any amount of CC that you stack on with Tyrande can really compound the combos just open themselves up. Biggest thing for me is Li Ming here on, on ta or not, not Towers of Doom, uh, Battlefield of Eternity. One of the strongest picks you can get. Super strong in the current meta, and it's in the hands of Miracle, so I'm excited to see what they can do with it. Or maybe if Alarak and you know, the synergy that Gluck have drafted can finally get the game win they've been looking for this entire part. Nothing crazy unusual. Roxer having a new Brock this time will be easier compared to the variant. Overlord, I didn't really see him playing Alarak as a melee hero. Yeah, but he's kind of a mage-ish. A lot of a lot of, a lot of his damage and coordination due to the skill shots. Yeah, so I could follow the line there. It depends on how you want to build, but I think you are correct there, G Clef. And here we go, kind of meeting everybody in the middle. See once again, yes, yeah, so going for crash lightning. Nothing super uh, change of pace. Clef, or not, what did I say, G Clef? Frankel. Looking at Frankel, yes. I said the wrong. I'm only even playing level 30, level 48, 48. Yes. Yikes! Oh, they know where Judy is now. Oh, and <laughs> the far slide. Okay, well, and he will be punished. Yeah, he will. Okay, exactly. not too much. That was not the best pet. Almost getting Discord roster. before that telekinesis. Okay. Yeah. I think that could have been a kill if coordinated just a little bit better. I and mean, we still they got, they got close, and you get close enough times, you're going to be able to convert on that. So he parcelated out of there because the globe yeah, told the opponent team where he was actually was for the time. Great discord, Judy, nice peel. Yeah, Frankel with teleport backwards gets himself back to safety and keeps on firing away. That was good peel though. That was like the uh, the zest, right? It's the best part of the peel. Zest. So you know, there's an or appeal on an orange, right? Yes. And so orange zest is just the outer part of that, the, the the most flavorful part, the best part of the peel. Oh, that's why he's a Starcraft player, right? <laughs> that, that is true. Very good at that too. Oh no! They there know. It is. They, they know. know. They knew you about this. You thought you were so sneaky, Gluck. And Miracle. <laughs> What a bunch of actors! Look at they that, they're like, that. we don't know about a thing, what's happening on their side. You know, we, talk, we talked about another one as the uh, the talent earlier, but they might have played themselves very well uh, there. Oh, Miracle. They they made it look close. I know, and if they film a movie, I'll watch it. That was a pretty good of acting, man. <laughs> yeah, those guys Five stars out of five. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, 98%. Their IMDP page, most hits, they're so popular. <laughs> wow. Okay. Nice try, Gluck. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe want to rename to Gluck after this one. We'll see if they get caught out here. Boom goes the dynamite. That's a nice pickoff by Li Ming. And he 
because it's not too far into the game, but this lane is destroyed, guys. I'm saying it's, it's done. Left. It, it's done. The laning is done. Double. In two lane, if one lane is dead, where do you go? To Irel? Okay. Have fun killing Irel. <laughs> That's gonna... So, good luck. The early game is basically over. I'm pretty sure that Irel could just, like, sit there in lane. And maybe you have, you have uh, Overlord, like, walk up to him. It's like, all right, let me, yeah, this is basically let me like do some damage. We go to Braxis, and you do not have a wave clear in your five man. And you just lose the lane all the time. What are you, what are you, what are you supposed to do? You and, walk into the lane, yeah, you're like, It's not uh, as bad as Braxis, because you do have the Immortal. And you do have an Hanzo. So, pull up. And they're racing for it. I think they will actually be really good contesting yeah. here against Miracle. It will be pretty good at that, and so second phase will come up here in just a second. Mm -hmm. There's, it's not like it's totally over for Gluck by any means. The levels are still pretty close. They did lose a lot uh, as far as structure health down bottom, but oh, damage on to Roxer. Yeah, as long as he buy time, it buys time. Okay, but yep. Boro charge on cooldown. Okay, great silence, but Hanzo is the, is doing damage onto the emote. That's all they need. As long as they survive and take the emote, that's all they need. Power slide. Trying to catch Overlord, but Immortal is gone. Gluck takes it. What can they do after? Yeah, can they even survive this? Rocks are still low. MSG, or Asgard rather, still low as well. Nitrogen on the chase. Avenging Wrath not going to follow or overfollow there. KCP. And there's the end one. Off the teleport, Frankel goes to the reset and gets it, but he's out of mana. I guess KCP has no other escape. He sad to go out there, but still they got the Immortal, which is a very nice news for them. They, because they lost the lane so hard. If this didn't happen, I don't know where this game was going to head headed. But with this great catch, Immortal is one of the strongest of the objective all games. Yep. Unfortunately, not actually Immortal. It will die there, and now it's Miracle's chance to push things back out. I, but still, nice structure damage done off of that objective control by Gluck. They do win it. Can't take that away from them, but Miracle will try to take everything else. Sniper's Thrall is the key to Miracle. Watch where this is headed when we go into another matchup. Against Golug, I don't think this test is 100% full power. This is like a take-home test. It's certainly not the most powerful kind of test. I do not like take-home tests. I, I, dude, I love take-home tests. I'm the slowest test taker in the world. Gives me enough time to figure that out. Ah, I can I can power cram like stay up all night for three nights, and eventually I'll get it done. But it's like an open book test. <laughs> That's true. You can open your book, but you only have 40 minutes to to oh, look that is, into the book. And I'm, solve a, I'm a goner there. There's no way I finished that test for sure. Here oh. comes Nitrogen looking for the flag. Yeah, oh, the combo top. so well. The hammer right on out, Overlord, not where he wants to be, and he will be the first casualty. Take it out by Tyrande, interestingly enough. The follow-up there, Roxer will be the next casualty of war here. Maybe even Bison going down if Judy wants to take him out. Nope, natural agility on out Yeah, there. the best news for luck on that team fight was that Hanzo got to finish his quest, and that's it. <laughs> but which helps a lot in the next Immortal race, because Miracle, they, if they are not able to catch like the last one, Let's look at, uh, okay, 10. 10 on the Lightning and also the Globe. The Rocky Rock on the ETC. So they, as long as they l don't lose too many and take, keep on taking Immortal, Luck can actually win the game. That's how you win BOE and that's why they grab onto that Hanzo. The first big reason. It's certainly a big advantage when it comes to specifically the objective. And that's back up again. So maybe that's where their advantage lies. We get a chance to see as they do look to uh, contest here. Actually, Judy, who was momentarily in a little bit of a rough spot there, but yeah. back up. When there's an Alarok on the other side, you have to think one more. Are you in the range of telekinesis plus yeah. the ball, the immortal uh, stun? That's always a combo that's pretty scary. Pretty long of a stun. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, speaking of stuns, yeah, which I Roxer. think they were just looking for that because the circle was right next to him. It was but close. Alawak was a little bit far away. Yeah, Overlord not using, uh, or not not quite. In yeah, but this is a that. very good uh, immortal spot for Miracle because they have the fort down. And Luck has a longer way. Oh, of look at Frankel though. He's back to the bag. Oh, the CC blowing mice it apart. They have ten. 
Glock, yeah. they should be running away now. They're too late. Nacho comes in with oh, the hammer no. delays. The Lekinesis misses. There's Perfect the Sundering as well. Overlord just can't go anywhere. He is the next casualty here. None of the strengths of Glug's lineup left. They lose them both. We'll lose the Immortal because of it. Oh, that's a kill now. Oh, wow. Frankel's going off today. Even without the missiles or just sitting out with the Disintegrate. Picking out the kill. Nicely done. And that's only the beginning. And Glug it was a tough one. Where Miracle was getting close to 10. They're buying time. And the fact that because they had to go all the way down, they don't have a fort down there. So that was the reason why they were just defending it instead of going for the offensive move. That was a tough choice to make. They go, they choose a safer one, and they ended up losing a little more. Man, that pick off onto Hanzo. We just spent like the entire like two minutes before then hyping up how strong a part of their lineup Hanzo was. So then he just gets blown up before the fight even starts. We're like, oh, well, I guess they don't have that uh, anymore. So now, like you said, one of the strongest objectives in Heroes of the Storm, the Immortal on Miracle side, crushing through that top fort. So Nitrogen has been coming up all the way to Jungle level solo lane, I think. In terms of right now, the top two solo, the off lane, the sub tank, however you like to call it, Jungle and Nitrogen is top two. That's high praise coming from UG Club. Uh, the uh, the, the heal from Judy. Yeah. Oh, uh, disintegrate coming through. Oh, like Moon broken. Yeah. There's a boss pit locking up. Great arrow. That's what you have to wait for. Yeah, Bunker, I mean, well used there, but it will expire. There it goes. The Sundering comes through. And, or it doesn't come through yet. Sorry, I just uh, mistook that. There's the Sundering. Finally used, but still Yorel. Oh, man, look at that heal off of the, uh, what was it, Avenging Wrath? Uh, not uh, Avenging Wrath. Um, that feel when you can't remember the bro. Like, oh, Frankel's looking for it. <gasps> that was way too close. What a comfort. crazy man. <laughs> the monster. Overlord was just centimeters away from getting blown up instantly. That was, uh, I like that. I like this. Their Lux buying time on this one uh, was actually really good. They bought good, good amount of time with the bunker. They delayed just enough. They have all the safety tools. Mosh pit, the arrow, what you have to be, what you just have to have. Cocoon on 3 to see when he was about to have Mosh pit. Disintegrate. So you have this, these pretty cool interaction back to back. What to counter? What counters each other? But it's really fun to a watch. A few levels apart, and KCB never really got the good seven-sided angle and yeah. some more engaged uh, angles from Rockstar here in this case. Now oh, let's watch. Just so much change to see on to Overlord, Overlord, High Lord, whatever you want to call him. He is still struggling. And look at so Frank. Far. He's about to get a kill. What kind of strike? Not going to land on anyone. There's a kill. Reset. Uh, goes to Thrall. I definitely thought that uh, Frankel was going to look for that. Can't get anything off the reset. I think that's good for Miracle, uh, oddly, because it means that they won't overextend. They will back off. Just go for the solid objectives. With this camp pushing by the end of the Immortal time, I don't know which lane is going to be more damaged once the Immortal goes. Like the luck they have always. Okay. They have a better position in this case. Bison chunking a little bit as Miracle just took the camp with the leaving and they also they end up losing the first few thousands of trade. Chain stacking. Yeah. Let's see. They have to protect their Hanzo. Bison died immediately in the last Immortal. So if he stays alive, this could definitely still go well for, uh, for Glug. Nitrogen jumping in, he's at half health, but Durell. So, uh, the, the angle does need to be good here for Miracle. Judy is out there fishing, looking for any opportunity to get a pick. Oh, man, that orb almost hit Bison. Overlord, half health here. Ooh, this is starting to look scary for Blood. Overlord is gone, Chase, he's, he's gone. Disintegrates break the cocoon instantly, and that means Judy's back in the fight, looking for more. Nitrogen the follow up, bunker forced out. Nitrogen yes. just bunny hopping all over the mice it out of here, and oh, they're gonna uh, let Asgard go. <laughs> nice. Guy I think that miracle. was the right call. They let him go, basically because they were focused a little too much onto the chase. Let no one say that Miracle are not merciful gods. 
And they have a disintegrate to break that cocoon in just a second, maybe even less than a second. Oh, oh definitely. Uh, especially with the uh, the level advantage there, the talent tier advantage. That is going to be super, super strong. I love watching Miracle work when they are in their element. There's nothing stopping them. There's nothing stopping them. And Ascar just walked out saying, huh? I survived? Okay, thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> There's no all chat, so he can't say thank you in the game, but maybe he just, like, yelled it really loudly. He'll, he'll say it afterwards when they're shaking. I think Luck is positioning a little too far away from each other. It's just a uh, mosh pit is pretty scary and when you're too close. Something, but they're, like, way too far apart. And they should be a nearby Hanzo. And there are lots of angles you can work around, even though Immortal, when Immortal's at, uh, at the bottom. Even with the Hanzo not really having perfect coordination, I think, is a problem why they're consistently losing the Immortal fight here for the race. Immortal coming through, still over half shields. This is just almost strong enough to take it all the way to the core. Especially if Miracle are able to get any picks here, they, they could go all the way. We'll find out how far they can go. Blaze already down to half health. MSG, I don't know if you're making it out of this one, Asgard. Might be living up to his name heading up to Valhalla. There's seven sided, but no damage really done because of it. MSG, he wants to survive here. <laughs> you can tell that Frankel is trying to keep him from surviving, but he does make it back out with just a sliver for the second time in a row. And they have 16 and five men for Gluck as well. So they oh, could no. be defended, holding a lot. But Lubarok's gone. Counter Strike now ignored perfectly. There's the mosh pit right after. Another kill going for that. And they're just going to continue. Without the bunker, he yeah. has to escape as Miracle well. Miracle are pacifists. Down. So they're not even going to take out Asgard, Bison, or KZB. They get to be the spectators as they watch on in horror. Their core going down in game number three to give Miracle our second 3-0 victory of the day. A 14-1 game. Miracle just stopping down, destroying the entire five men of Glug. Game one to three. And this shows what you actually have to ban. I don't think uh, Gluck came into the match today saying, okay, we have done all the prep, what we should ban against Miracle, what we should take in this meta. I think they were very underprepared in terms of drafting. Thrall, I think it's a, it's a very big key. I'm highlighting this a lot because we're gonna have this ban yeah. against Sniper, which is kind of rare to see out of the top three teams. Yeah, and especially when, uh, when Miracle play uh, in their match against Tempest in that final week, you're going to see that uh, realized by Tempest. They are one of the best teams, specifically when it comes to uh, drafting that. So it's going to be really highly prioritized. And it'll look a lot different than this game. I can't believe Frankel let his team down, gave away their own death. Yeah, look at Irel. All those highlights. <laughs> and better than Judy. What a great hero. So many highlights. Experience. Tank. Dead damage taken, healing. siege damage, self-healing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, yeah, Natsujin does it again, right? Just an amazing performance every single game. He always delivers. He's the best mailman around. And he delivers all the time. Blue Beetle today on his Tirande. And White Mane as well. Uh, what was the last one? I forget For what was the other. healing? Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Okay, that was game one. It's been more than five seconds since oh, I've Anna. seen that slide. Yeah, Anna with the power of less. Oh, yeah, that's yes. right. Dude, game one by far, incredible to watch. Yeah. A super well-executed combo you don't get to see very often. Uh, they made it look good. Yeah, and Blue Beetle has been the one, I think, a little hidden in the back as a support player, not the DPS. It's, you can't actually like go in, get the kill. You look flashy. That's the DPS. Yeah. Support is the one that lets... It's the uh, enabler. The, yeah, it's an enabler, enabler, and actually the spotlight in the back. Yeah, and Blue Beetle has been doing. We has been setting up everything for the DPS yeah. to. I mean, just, that's the the six words every DPS wants to hear. You're powered up. Get in here mm -hmm. or there. But uh, we got a chance to see it look super good in game number one. And really, Miracle looked really good in every single game. So, I mean, what more can you ask for for your HCC Korea? Maybe you had somewhere to be after the game. Two three O's. You get there early. But this is only the second day with the Tirande. Oh, that's the Tirande true. rework. And, and we'll have to see a little bit more. 100% participation still in Korea. All 12 games. Let's see where EU is headed. NA is headed. Seems like Tirande has uh, shown a little less in NA. 
Yeah, not too willing to kind of jump the gun there. I don't know if that's behind the meta. They definitely have their own meta, like we heard in our interview yesterday. Um, so it'll take some while. And, of course, BlizzCon's coming up, and that's where we really get the ultimate way uh, to see what is uh, truly the strongest. But today, Miracle, we're the strongest. They take out Glux 3-0. Glux still winless in HTC Korea. They do get one more chance to come back and get themselves on the board, but for Miracle, they climb ever higher and reassure us that maybe they are just the real deal. Find out in their match against uh, Tempest coming up in the final week. Cannot wait for that. Yeah, that's going to be the real hype match. Uh, we have some hype match tomorrow, oh, which dude. will be on the screen very soon. So right after cast, I'm going to go get good sleep, get all the oh. snacks that I want. And get super fat and come to cast. You're gonna tomorrow. bring your tent here, camp out outside. I'm gonna bring like a cup of Nutella and then eat it all day long, just oh. to get energized for tomorrow. Don't remind matchup. me, I have one of those in my apartment. Oh, it'll be a good night, G Clef, and it'll be an even better day tomorrow because the final day of HGC Korea Week Nine. Yes. <laughs> How, how many weeks in a year, G-Cliff? I don't know. I can't count this. Anyway, uh, the final day of this week is going to be incredible. Even the last week is just going to be super sick. And if it d can't get any better, there's Korean Thanksgiving right there in between. So, mm -hmm. Yep. And with that, I think just going back to the match, I think Mir Miracle really continues the story of how strong they can actually be in the meta when Thrall. The old hero comes back to Sniper, the fossil of Korean heroes, basically. <laughs> He has played more than, I think, 42 heroes over the three years oh of Korean HEC. So not just HEC, I'm, cover I'm including all the Super, Super League, League days yeah. as well. So he has been just flexing into all those heroes when he... He can always flex into like the old ones, false that, even Savannah sometimes. Well, he was flexing today as well, not mm -hmm. just because he can play many heroes, but because he was uh, just looks super strong. So a uh, real asset to his team, not only because of the diversity, but also the strength individually. It's kind of rare to find a player that has so much breadth and depth in his hero pool. Uh, really, really sick to see him still sticking around. So let's take a look at the highlights. There were many of those, specifically that Kale Thos locked in for the Nano Pyroblast. Are we I going to see that highlight? Not yet. It. It's only level six. Okay, fast forward. Here we go. <laughs> Old man dreams. <laughs> On the ping on device, and boom goes the dynamite. There we go, making it look easy. See it again. Another one. And you're out of there. Swing Bada. Even with the armor. And this was level four level gap on this team fight. So even though they actually had a pretty good setup, <laughs> it's not enough to actually uh, grab kills. It's a tough one. Moving on to Towers of Doom. Game number two. Uh, this was just really a clinic from Miracle. We didn't have too many interesting. The variant came through, but it just really did not work very well for Gluck. Yeah, this was a cool gang. Big Nuts is happening. There's a flight, borrow charge, and the Sunder. Oh. Ground breaks, you die. I just want to be a spectator for these ones, uh, G Club. This is just the, the Miracle Show. We're renaming HCC Korea to Let's Watch Miracle Do Cool Stuff. And that's kind of what we saw a lot of today. I really like, couldn't do a whole lot to stop them. Overlord actually had. Not too great of an Alarak game. Also because they could not he could not have the space. It was hard because Hanzo was trying to have trying to poke down the Immortal when the rest of the members they were trying to just peel away from him. It was a hard It was a hard day. But we do have Nachojin Strong team. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. You're on that rise. How do you feel about the match? Yeah, today was just, we had to win today's game. And that was, we took, we didn't take it lightly, but it was a clean game. And yeah, we didn't make too many mistakes, so that was overall really good. Oh, first started the team, I was doing draft, I was getting a little greedy, doing shot calling as well. 
I think it has a sub tank. 극단적인 맵으로는 요궁의 동지라든가 뭐 파메르탑이라든가 좀 탑에만 좀 박혀 있어야 되는 경우가 좀 많아서 그래서 The Dragonshire TOD there are lots of times where I just have to be uh, staying on top. 제가 픽을 뽑은 그 컨셉을 아래쪽에서 뭐 아. 잘 so the theme and the concept 활용을 해주면 좋은데 of the four man rotation at the bottom who could, which could have worked when I do draft which actually did not work because I'm stuck all the way on the top alone I can't really micro them too well so after that I gave GD the chance to actually do the drafting I could focus on my own play a little better so overall for every member of our team working so much nicer he had a false stat game here now to the end of false stat how did you come up with the pick? first start is I think sub DPS, I'm, I'm always ready for sub DPS. Any hero. 1경기 끝나고 주디가 먼저 그 파메르타 맵 고르면서 After first game, 주디 KOD. And 주디 asked me if, if, if I can do uh, <웃음> false at top. 약간 그냥 상대 픽 안보고 무조건 쓰기에는 <웃음> 네. And just false stat, just randomly picking false stat if not picking false stat without watching, without looking at the opponent's draft is actually really hard. But if there's a chance, I'll pick it. That's what I said to Judy. And after looking at all the draft, that was the final pick. And you can actually have a pretty good lane after 7. And you have a lot more wave clear, that's exactly the timing. So everything felt in. And you got to play your favorite false stat, yes. It's not too common to have a player if you just ask a player to do that hero. Yeah, before I before I moved on to the solo lane, I had a lot of a sub DPS experience. 제가 서브 탱커를 해야 되는 입장이어서 서브 탱커를 하고 있고 그래도 이제 I do have to have that role as solo lane in the team, so that's why I'm doing it. 이런 캐릭터를 좀 잘한다고 생각을 해서 그때 스나이퍼가 이제 서브 탱을 잠깐 할수 있다고 하면은. Well, Sniper does have really good hero pull as well, like uh, Rel, Blaze, Brawl. So he can also do solo lane if he wants to do solo lane. We can switch out and I can be the uh, sub DPS. Do you think about the new roster in Miracle? Part 1 때도 얘기했다시피 팀원 개성이 좀 너무 서로 강해가지고 화합이 안 돼가지고 좀 서로 힘든 점이 있었는데 This harmonizes our team a little bit. 점점 시간 지나면서 좀잘 맞아 가는 것 같아서 그래도 뭐 Over the time, I think we are coming in together as a team. And every time we feel that in game, it feels really good actually. 너무 강한 팀이잖아요. 근데 그만큼 제가 대기실에서 보면은 그런 개성 강한 성격이 그게 컬러인 것 같아요. 찾으시고 계셨다는. 네. Yeah, even when I see you guys in the waiting room, you guys are having a lot of fun. 다음 달리스 잡으셨죠. 다음 경기 2등 템페스트 남아 있는데요. The next game. We're going up against Tempest, the number two seed. 팬분들께 좀 한마디 해주세요. 어. Have any shoutouts? Tempest and the fans. I think Tempest is above us for now. I think Tempest is above us for now. I think Tempest is above us for now. So hopefully, you don't expect, expect too much of us. And we did beat Genji 3-2, but barely, barely, barely. <laughs> and I think the bubbles are popping for us. So it will be better if you lower your expectations. So that we can actually have an easier time going into the match. Yeah, we did beat Genji before. And I do think it's possible to beat Tempest. And Nachojin, all three games, zero death today. That's a great player. And that's it for the interview with Nachojin. Seems like he is fun. Seems like he wants to be the nice guy, but actually, he's super confident going against Tempest. That's big words. Very humble. Very humble, but... Also, he's got that shout out. Well, last time they beat uh, Gen G, he said in his interview, if we played them again, they'd beat us 3 0. Yes. Now, he is much more confident going into.
maybe even a stronger team. Tempest are their next hurdle, and they are the only team standing, well, they, they and Ballistics are the only team standing between Miracle and that second spot. Now, unfortunately, they only have one more game to play, but it is all about that second spot, right? It's straight to BlizzCon. Yes. And every team wants to be there, Ballistics and Tempest. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's about whether or not Miracle can take Tempest down a peg and maybe give that spot to Ballistics. Yeah, the two big matchup we have left will be that Tempest Miracle and Genji Ballistics. So depending oh, on the result... So good. I don't know. The top two. That will actually be the one time that I will say I don't know. That's right. What will actually happen we'll because... Ballistics, Genji, Genji seems stronger, yes. That one I can kind of predict. I will say Genji is the favorite, but Miracle Tempest... Hello? And here's a look at our next matches. You know, you said you didn't know what to think about those matches, but even Tempest Blossom could be very close. And certainly, Ballistics Gen G, I, I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm quitting casting G Clef. I will be a spectator for that game because it's just going to be so good. You have to watch that. I guarantee you it will be in the HGC minute or minutes, as the case may be most of the time, because you will need several minutes to chronicle the greatness that is going to go down in that series. You do not want to miss the last day of week nine. Today, uh, tomorrow, we have the top four teams. That's insane. We do not have Miracle in there, but Blossom certainly is really strong. Right now, they're on the downhill, though. Same for Tempest. They had some... With the role change, I, think they, I don't think they are too glued into the new roles yet. I think they will be feeling a little bit better coming in today, tomorrow, but they have the first match. Even that type, the second one, we're back to the classic. We call it uh, the El, El Clasico. Clasico. Yes, yeah. Clasico. That's right. Clasico I... is Nexus in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> El Classicong nice is the Korean gong. meme here. Nice one. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, that's going to do it for our day today. Uh, congratulations to Miracle. They are still the best team without their own jersey in HGC. And I can't wait to see them go up against Tempest in the final week. But before we get to the final week, we've got the best day of this week coming up next. And it's just such a great time for HGC Korea. Mm -hmm. Korea has never had this greatness before where we just have top five teams. Yeah. Super close to each other. But that's going to do it for us. A lot more Tirande. Maybe continuing to tomorrow. That will be the real story and the question. But hype matches coming up tomorrow. UNA up next. See you guys tomorrow.